this is their lifelong dream. They love each other, they wanted to be together, and here they are. It was long and stressful, but we made it through yeah. it. We, of course, had to search for housing. Um, had to ask them what they wanted, where they desired. You know, the easiest thing, cheapest thing was probably apartments, but that's not what they wanted. They wanted a house. It took us about three months, and um, then we thought we had a place found, and then um, they, they decided that they didn't want to do it because it was you're subject to inspections. So the landlord said no. So we had a month before they got married that we had to find somewhere. We talked about it and uh, we went out, both of us together, looking for places. And we actually found this one. Walter actually found it at the same time. I had been looking and I saw it on a Craigslist. I called and talked with the landlord and she was a very nice lady and she met us here on a Saturday and uh, Vicki's parents were involved. They came, um, showed us the house and um, she was ready to give us the keys right away. She was really impressed with Walter and Vicki and the love that they had for each other and was just really excited. We had to have a meeting like one after another one to see how we're doing and if we're still engaged and stuff like that. And, and we had one last one before we got married yep. and it was the final one in about the house and stuff like that everything was moved in when they came back from their honeymoon they were just so excited about everything and they're doing so well there was a funny thing when we were looking for what they were going to register for for their wedding they each one had a different idea of what kind of shower curtain they wanted. And so his idea was, well, we'll, we'll register for both, and every week we'll swap them out, so we'll both have what we want. And I thought, now that's compromise. <laughs> I like it. It gives I us... I like it a lot. It gives us more things we can do on our own instead of have staff with us all the time. The, they just come and check on us once a while. But they do have supported staff here about 20 hours a week. Staff will come in and basically just support them and say, hey, what do you guys need from me? Um, and they usually will be very good about that. We know that we need to dust. Can you help us with that? We want to cook a roast. Can you help us with that? It's not hands-on. It's, you know, you're just there to support them and see um, what they need. Our staff will... She'll go grocery shopping for us, and we'll go with her. she do the grocery shopping, and she'll let us walk around Walmart by ourselves and pick out things we need. And she gives us our space. She'll come and work for like from two to six, and then she'll leave and go to her other house. She works for a couple hours and then just leaves. Uh, we're usually here at night on our own. It's just been beautiful to see how well they're doing. Um, independence, um, they will walk, um, they will call and order their own food. On the weekends, we like walking up to Jackson Square, going to, up to Razzleberry's up there and eating ice cream yeah. and eating lunch. Well, we have bikes. We got bikes, but we're just, we haven't rode in so long, we can't even, we forgot to learn how to ride them. It's just, we haven't rode in forever, so. Yeah. We're still trying to learn how to get back on them and ride them. It'll take us a while, but I think we'll get it. And we, we meet some people that are nice and some people that are not nice. So yeah. Yeah. we just try to stay away from the people that are yeah. not nice. It's a good feeling to, yeah. to be out on your own.